Good morning. Welcome to my experiential learning channel. Inspire to aspire. Experience aspire to live. Today we will be discussing a topic on the chapter Principles of Inheritance and Variation. The heredity and environmental factors, how it affects the growth and development of an organism. Here you are seeing two potted plants of periwinkle. So one is with pink flower, the other also with pink flower, both the plants. But one is having almost three and a half months age. You can see the leaf pattern. This is a normal plant which is kept in normal soil. Here this plant also was kept for a longer time but I made some changes in the nurturing of the plant so both the plants were of having pink flowers now you can see to get a desired colored white plant I just started changing the manuring pattern I just started putting tea leaves for the last three months for this plant I'm just using the waste from the tea filtration so that tea leaves have kept here decayed so gradually you can see the changes what had happened during three months you can see the leaf pattern they became a little bit dwarfer in nature you can see the normal plant which is controlled one it is in soil only for the three months here I started changing the manuring pattern only add soil and tea dust so I got the flowering pattern of assorted colors. Here you can see the pink flowered originally. The plant was with full pink flowers. You might have see, observed the experiential learning plant. The same parent plant I got this pink colored plant. But I just changed the nurturing pattern and I got the two colored in the same plant. So this shows that by changing the environment, we can change the genetic setup. We can change the, so the experiment shows that we can prepare the desired one by changing the environment, by nurturing the medium with the nutrients required for growth and development, we can change the behavioral pattern, the expression, the phenotypic expression of the individual. Similarly, as teachers and students, we have to use conducive environment. We have to take the required material from the environment to develop into socially acceptable behavioral patterns. So, hope this video will help you to understand the concept of heredity and environment. How environment change the pattern of the flowering in a plant. Here you can see both again once again together only in the same plant. So thank you for watching this. So please comment your valuable views so that we can grow our channel again. Thank you for watching.